14 days of amazing cricketing action between 16 countries has led to the final of the inaugural ICC Under-19 Women's T20 World Cup. Well, it's a battle between Team Destiny versus the team who wants to build the dynasty. Who will come on the top? Who will take the trophy home? And unfortunately, who has to go home empty-handed? We'll look at all of these things in the preview of the final of the World Cup. In the mutual fund, Sahihe presents the outside view powered by Alistair. Direct plan. Mutual fund schemes may could invest in the option. Hai. Mutual funds. Kudi. <laughs> See. जैसे मैंने फिट रहने के लिए ट्रेनर रखा तू तो दिखता ही है भाई पर तू तो सेल्फ मेड है भाई लाइक मुझे फिटनेस की नॉलेज है तो आई मेड माय ओन ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम और तेरे ट्रेनर के पैसे भी बच गए हां सेम विद डायरेक्ट प्लान या मेरे कमीशन के पैसे बच गए सही है म्यूचुअल फंड निवेश बाजार जोखिमों के अधीन है योजना से जुड़े सभी दस्तावेजों को ध्यान से पढ़ें Talking about England first, they are the only side in this tournament that have left undefeated. Since their first game of the group stage till the semi-final against Australia, they were thrown a many challenges. At one stage against Pakistan, they were 45 for 3 uh, in, in halfway through the innings and they managed to score 150 runs. Yesterday, it looked like 99 all out uh, in the first innings could be end of them in this tournament but you saw the way Grace Scrivens managed her ballers with Alexa Stonehouse, Hannah Baker, what a star she was. They managed to come back and make an impact and bowl Australia out for 96 runs and that's the win behind them to take them into the final. It was not an easy win, it was a hard fought win where every single player of the team had to stood up and that's how they managed to do it. Now. Talking about India on the other hand, remarkable throughout the group stage but they got that one tiny hiccup against Australia where they were bowled out for 87. The batting didn't show up that day but ballers had didn't, at the same time ballers had nothing to bowl at honestly and at the Northwestern University Oval it was uh, India's first match at that oval with a pitch little bit of dicey. They finally um, couldn't chase down the target. Uh, you can see behind me, India is uh, starting their training session right now. So, uh, this is how these two teams have made it to the final. And uh, even Grace Scrivens yesterday in her post match presentation said that uh, whoever manages to keep calm of their nerves and whoever man manages to play spin better has more chances. I mean, who are we to doubt the undefeated captain of the tournament so far? So that is one thing to look out for. Well, what is the bigger picture? Most importantly, it's a trophy at the ground. It's the history, chance to make a history in South Africa. Uh, you know, the first time the World Cup was supposed to happen in Bangladesh and it was pushed forward to South Africa in 2023. Finally, this is it. This is the opportunity for these players from both England and India to stand their authority as the first winners of, of this championship. And um, I think uh, looking at these two teams, they are primarily the two best teams that come out of these tournaments. They have shown their vulnerability at most of the times, but they still have managed the way uh, to come up uh, with the solutions on the go. And that's the reason why uh, these two teams are here in the final. Um, let's look out for the players to watch out for. As I said before, Grace Scrivens has mentioned that whoever plays spin better uh, has a more opportunity. So let's start from the India's point of view. Who are these players? Um, who is that one player who we should all watch out for? A uh, one man that should uh, come to everyone's mind that, that that is Pashvi Chopra. You saw it yesterday against New Zealand. You saw it against uh, Sri Lanka also. She has the capacity. The the. The leg spinner has a capacity to control the innings in the middle overs and at the same time as she said in one of her interviews after the semi-final yesterday, her role in the team is to ball those wicket taking deliveries. So when everyone else around her is giving her the best chance to take those wickets with the dot balls and the better fielding, uh, she is the one who is going to be the key. These two sides, mind you, have not faced each other at any level, uh, neither in the group stages nor in the Super 6. So this is going to be one interesting thing to say how England managed to play um, the leg spin of Pashvi Chopra. 
from the England point of view, you cannot actually go past Grace Cravens. Yesterday, uh, it looked like she was standing at the other end and she saw at least three to four wickets fall and she couldn't do anything and that frustration shot came out of her and she got out. But the way she has composed herself and um, the way she handled her team in the second innings with the bowling, her, her bowling changes were also one to watch out for. Uh, Hannah Baker's introduction at the point she was introduced. Australians, even though they had a lot many balls uh, and lot many overs to uh, kind of go breeze through that total, that didn't happen. Uh, that is because the bowling changes that Grace Grievance managed to uh, introduce at the level she did and. Handy batter, uh, uh, Shweta Sehrawat and her are in kind of a tussle to be the highest run scorer at the tournament. So uh, that is also one of the things to watch out for. But also she, uh, yesterday she came in and ball in the most important over for England in this World Cup and uh, result is in all front of her. Um, these two teams have given everything uh, on the field and one more day, uh, one more match, one more tussle and we'll know uh, who lifts that uh, beautiful trophy um, at the end of the inaugural Under-19 Women's T20 World Cup. This has been uh, Mutual Fund Sahi Hai presents the outside view powered by Alista. For all the Under-19 uh, Women's T20 World Cup related updates, uh, followed by the tri-series that's going on between West Indies India and the host South Africa and the upcoming T20 World Cup and Women's Premier League subscribe to Women's Cricket Zone we have got all details for you Smart ho raha India Jaise India mein bana Alista Smart LED TV with world class clarity and amazing features